Guns are an emotional issue for so many people, especially for crime victims who were hurt or intimidated by weapons. So it can be a surprise to those survivors who find healing when they put a gun in their own hands. Two women share their story in tonight's WFAA original. Nine millimeter yeah. Smith and Wesson. A lot of people grow up around guns. The man shaped. <laughs> they know the safety rules and have their favorite things to shoot. Are we good to go? Kathy Smith and Julie Ibarra look the part. You okay? <laughs> At the Frisco Gun Club. I actually had a very you know, stressful day to day. That really helped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. So it is amazing to think the first time they both were exposed to firearms was on the night they were attacked. He appeared in the doorway of my bedroom um, holding a shotgun and he told me to shut up. In November of 2006, Stanley Ledbetter broke into Kathy's apartment on his way to becoming a serial rapist. And at one point he did set the gun down on the sofa next to me and I really I thought for a minute I could grab it and I could take control of the situ situation and um, then I realized well I don't really know anything about guns I'd never really handled one I realized that's not probably not the best thing to try to do I'd probably end up shooting myself he got away that night and got more violent in April 2007 he stabbed Julie six times you don't ever get over it you're always aware. She was Ledbetter's 19th victim. DNA put him behind bars a year later. When he attacked again, and then especially when he attacked Julie, and I heard about that on the news, I just, I lost it. It is the latest attack in a series of crimes. It, has it was at his trial where Kathy first met the woman she thought she could have saved. If I knew how to handle a gun, I could have stopped him. I could have prevented that. I could have prevented so many others. The reality of the situation is that you can't change it anymore, right? So it's in the past, but what can you do to educate yourself moving forward in order to feel as though you're in control of that situation? That wasn't obvious at first. It took me 10 years after the attack even to pick up a gun. He Same introduced me, he Damon, said, well, this might Damon. make you feel better. It was a man with a gun who destroyed their sense of security. But by learning to shoot, they started to find it in the weapon they fear. Even, you know, not having a, a loaded gun on me, I still feel stronger because it's kind of taking some of that power back. That is a common feeling. A 2016 Gallup poll shows gun ownership is higher among crime victims than non-victims. 19% of female victims own a gun compared to 14% of all other women. And that doesn't count others like Smith and Ibarra, who came to guns long after their attacks. Today, they fire with confidence. Just control, that's the first word that comes to mind. And the shredded targets bring it full circle for Smith who will never again be in a room with a gun and not know how to use it. But now, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Both women say they have a message to other women who are survivors of crime, and that is try it. If and when you're ready, they say they are grateful to the people who gave them that suggestion.